What is that? Cabinet. Woo! Hello everyone, my name is Jenna and welcome back to the Holistic Homemaker channel. Today we are talking 2024. 2024 goals, mindsets, things that we have planned as a family, me as an individual, and then at the end of this video, Jack and I do a really delicious, super easy and quick recipe that you can do for New Year's if you're throwing a little party or if you just wanna stay home be cozy with something yummy. Let's get into our goals. I love watching these types of videos because I find it so interesting hearing the similarities between me and some other content creators on what our plans are for the coming year. One big goal that we have is our finances. So Cameron and I have been debt free 100% uh, consumer debt free for four years now. Well, mm, three years now, I lied, three. Which means we have no credit cards, we pay everything in cash, we have no payments on anything other than our home. Our big goal for next year is to pay a huge chunk towards the house. The goal number is 30K is what we're wanting to put into our home. It's a big one, which means that there will be a lot of sacrifices in other departments, which we have no problem doing. So if we want to get the house paid off as soon as humanly possible, that's what we have to do for a short period of time. So a big goal of ours for next year is the house. We want to try to get as close to 30 as we can by this time next year. Business wise, I would like to start getting a really strict, not strict because it makes it sound not fun, but I want to get an actual schedule going on here with a little bit more consistency. But now that I'm in a better groove with motherhood, I feel like it'd be easier for me to do that. <laughs> it's been kind of tricky, you know. Jack has always been a very complicated sleeper. So, he, where, meaning he just he just doesn't really like to sleep. He's He's never been much of a napper. So it's been really hard to film in those little pockets. And I don't have a partner at home with me. Like a lot of other content creators, you know, they're given the opportunity to have their spouses stay home with them. I don't have that opportunity. So I'm trying to balance the work life as much as possible and not have the camera in my kid's face every single second of the day to be able to film these videos. Now that he will be starting pre-K in like two weeks and his birthday is tomorrow, kids turning two, it's devastating. I like, I don't even know how that happened, but there will be an actual schedule in our life instead of all of the let's just do whatever life that we've had, he will actually have a schedule that's outside of just us being home. So I'm really excited for that. I'm excited to watch him grow and learn in those environments. It's gonna be really, really fun. And it will give me the opportunity business-wise to continue to learn and grow in this space. I'm really, really excited about that. Project-wise, I'm really stoked about these goals. So I have a lot of different patterns that I have saved over the last couple of years that I haven't quite gotten to. And I've ordered, ordered, I purchased a couple of patterns from Petite Knits. And it's a it's the matching sweater for all three of us, but I'm gonna do a different yarn color for each one because we all have color shades that fit us best. So I really, really, really wanna start working on those, but I'm going to finish all of the whips that I have now, which aren't very many. I wanna get those knocked out so that I can start fresh, and I also would really like to clear my stash. I don't have a ton of fabric because I haven't dove into sewing as much as I have knitting. Sewing is very new to me. I've only sewn like four things. Knitting has been a couple of years. I have collected not a lot, but enough to make me not want it in my space anymore. <laughs> like I'm sick of looking at it. So I want to knock out my stash next year too to be able to start fresh in the holiday season. I think that that's super doable. So those are my project plans. Garden goals are always, it's like my eyes are bigger than my garden, you know? I'm okay with that. I have so many ambitions as far as growing goes, but I do only have the four boxes and we do need to purchase a sunshade because, oh my gosh, this just keeps falling down. I do need to purchase a sunshade to cover all of the boxes. Our whole garden right now needs to be shaded uh, because the sun literally killed 
everything last year. We have no trees, no shade in our backyard at all. And it is just direct sun, direct heat. Everything wilted. It didn't matter what it was. Everything wilted. And we get really, really aggressive rains in the summer. I mean, we're prime hurricane territory. So we have like really aggressive downpours. And then as soon as it's done, it's like 100 degrees again. So with the humidity and the rain, everything molded. And it was just really sad because I worked so hard on everything. So this year we will be buying plants. I don't have the space to do seeds right now, nor do I have the time to do seeds right now. So we will be buying plants come January and I'm going to be a little bit more strategic in the gardening of pretty much like when I think about what I want to can and preserve, that's what I want to be able to grow. So we're going to be doing lots of tomatoes, lots of peppers, lots of beans and quick and easy things that I know will help get Jack involved would be like cucumbers. Radishes take nothing to grow. He had an absolute blast with the sweet potatoes. I wish that I had filmed it, but I did, truly didn't think there was gonna be anything in there. We ended up with a ton of sweet potatoes. So things like that where he can also get involved in the process I think will be really great for us. He's not a picky eater. He loves eating straight out of the dirt. You have, so I've seen him in previous videos. His child will just eat out the dirt. He does not care. But I, I like having him, especially now that we have a learning tower. He can cook with me, which you'll see in a little bit when we make our yummy treat. But him being able to pull it from the ground and make it in the kitchen, I think is gonna be a huge step in our food development in the house and I'm really looking forward to that with the garden this year and Cameron is, is fully on board with the garden this year it's just been a tricky scheduling with him and his work to be able to be in it as much as he has been in the past so this year we are gung-ho on the garden and ready to get things going there I wanted to do a video of like what I won't be buying in 2024 but I've realized that a lot of the videos that I have watched of the I will not be buying blah 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 in 2024 none of those people have children and so I cannot 100% commit to any of the things that I will say because I have a child and like I would love to do a no spend year I could do a no spend year for myself if I wanted to but it would be so complicated to do one as a family because Cameron has a very tricky life in his work and Jack is a growing human being, so he will need things constantly. It doesn't mean he needs like the top of the line, whatever of that thing, but he will be needing me to purchase things for him this coming year. So like, I would love to do that. Not realistic right now. And whenever I were to say, I will not buy blah, blah, blah next year, it might not be 100% true. With that being said, there are a lot of things that I would like to start making at home instead of purchasing. But that doesn't mean that I won't be in a pinch one day if the whole house has COVID like it did a couple of weeks ago, that we might need to go buy something. So I like to keep my truth in that. <laughs> I don't wanna say I'm never gonna buy laundry detergent again. And then us need to go buy laundry detergent and then me look at it and be like, I lied to you, which is literally how I feel. So I wouldn't, I don't wanna do that. But there are things that I would like to start making. I would love to start making our own dish detergent and laundry detergent. I'd like to make our own, ooh, this is a sewing project. I have a super easy um, to make our own dryer sheets. It's so simple. You just sew a flannel, a flannel rectangle and soak it in essential oils and other things and then just throw it in the dryer with your wet clothes and then ta-da, you have a dryer sheet. Um, so it's like things like that I would really like to start getting in the habit of doing. I've had a really hard time connecting in our new space and I feel like as we start to grow and have time to finally move in here, it's been pretty empty. Like it's been pretty like naked space here. So as we start to kind of grow and be able to move things around how we want them or purchase shelves and things like that to be able to fully make it our space, I think those other things like the homemade goods will just sort of come with that. Um, I do have a couple of recipes for making my own deodorants and shampoos and body scrubs and stuff like that. I've made body scrubs on the channel before. I can link it somewhere up here, like coffee sugar scrubs, easy things like that that I just sort of... My mind has been so occupied that I just sort of forget. And I wanna make those things 
more of a priority in the new year. So I'm not going to say I'm not going to buy those things, but I will say I want to make these other things a heavier priority in the new year. But I would like to be able to start bulk batching again. I really love cooking in bulk and being able to just pull something out of the freezer and have it ready to go or like huge preps that I can just put things in the freezer and again pull them out and have them ready to go or pull them out put them in a pot and just leave it alone you know I love having meals like that because they are just so much easier especially when I don't really know well I guess in the past I never really knew how Jack was going to be he's much more predictable now especially since he is so vocal he can tell me what he needs whereas before it was just I, he was just I was constantly wearing him so I felt a little bit immobile and it was a little bit trickier to predict how the evening was gonna go. He knows his bedtime routine now. He knows all these things now. He's learning so quickly that he's a little bit more predictable than he once was. So that's that makes things a little bit easier for me to be able to plan out my day and plan out our meals and plan out what I have going on too. Yeah, that's, that's really it. A lot of it is I, I just wanna be able to make everything from scratch, including our home goods i want to be from garden to table and i want to be you know at home making our own soaps and things like that the more you go down the rabbit hole on things the scarier it is and i i don't want to be hmm i don't know how to phrase it there's like this different version of a helicopter parent right but it's like it makes you sick so I've seen a lot of women that were super, super, super intense on the, the things they can't control about what their children are exposed to. And when I think about it, it, it makes me sick. I know that I cannot control everything that Jack is going to be exposed to. But what I can control is what's in my home. So I would like to be able to have as much control over these these harsh and cancerous and damaging things as I can in our home and that will at least give me the peace of mind that I did my best <laughs> and that's sort of how I'm doing this. There are a lot of things in his pre-k that they do so he's going to a Montessori school but they still do things like for their Christmas parties you know they posted pictures of the kids eating Krispy Kremes. I don't feed my kid that sugar I don't feed my kid that stuff that might be something that I can't control them giving to. Maybe I can't, I don't know, it's just an example. But, you know, he doesn't eat those types of things for a reason. And I can control that in my home and I can't control that out in the world unless I am present. I can't think of any other goals right now. Mothering wise, I wanna just keep doing what I'm doing. I. I'm so proud of Jack every single day and I'm proud of myself every day we are doing this thing and you know I absolutely adore being his mother so I just want to continue growing and learning and doing the best that I can for him. He is such a happy kid which makes me know that, he, that I am doing the right thing and that Cameron is doing the right thing and that we are a unit and a family and family wise I just want to keep doing what we're doing because it is so cool and exciting to see that's it that's it for today <laughs> that's it for my my goals for next year they might not seem as lavish or extensive as some of these other videos but i'm trying to keep mine realistic jack is starting school and i'm getting this weird time alone for the first time in a couple of years and it's going to be a lot of different challenges and just a lot of change very quickly that I'm not mentally prepared for. So I don't want to, to burden myself with all of these expectations when I don't know how next year is gonna go. You know what I mean? So it's just, that's just kind of how, I don't know, that's just kind of how I feel about it. But if you guys have any goals, let me know in the comments because I love hearing what people are excited about. I love hearing what people are planning and wanting to do and what's going to be a priority for you next year because maybe that is a priority of mine too and I just didn't really think about it in the way that you phrased. So please share it with me. I'm, I'm always excited to, to hear and read those types of things. 
As we get into our quick baking recipe, Jack did help me with this entire thing and it was so cute. He got a learning tower for Christmas and it has been a game changer. If you have a toddler that is your Velcro baby, your tiny little koala that's always right here, get yourself a learning tower. I've had it for two days and I'm like, oh my God, it is amazing. Because he just wants to see what I'm doing at all times. Which means that in the past, I've always just had to hold him, which he's heavy now. <laughs> he's getting big. So it's like, he's getting to the point where you got like six months and I can't do this like full time with you on me. So I, we got um, my mom got him learning tower and he has been able to watch me do everything in the kitchen. And so he's now wanting to participate in the kitchen. He's always loved looking through my cookbooks. He picks out everything that we've made on this channel since he's been alive for the most part. He has picked out. And so today we got a new cookbook for Christmas and um, it's Roots, Rooted. I'll show you. <laughs> um, it's still very new. I haven't even gotten to really look at it yet, but we were flipping through it um, yesterday and he said he wanted that one. And I said, okay, we'll go to the store and we're gonna make it. Look at you, big guy. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. You wanna make it? No. Do you wanna put this in here? No. Do you want to pour this in here? No. Those are called pistachios. Tahini. No, no. This one's lemon juice. Do you want to pour it? Can you smell? Can you pour it in there? Good job. You want to put those in there? Garlic, baby. Yeah, it's good. Throw them in there. Don't we need them? Spicy. Okay, big bite. You want some water? <laughs> I told you it's spicy, bub. You want to dump this in there? Okay, dump it in there. Go tink tink. Good job, buddy. Oh, it's heavy. You want to do it together? Oh, you got it. Oh, yeah, you got it. You want to eat a leaf? You want to put some of these leaves in there?
All right, friends, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Stick around. I will be posting videos every other Friday from now on. I hope you have an amazing new year and I will see you all in the next one. Happy holidays. Bye.